we have reached the end in this whirlwind of a chapter. Um, 12.7 talks about Wilson and isolationism. We're told to describe Wilson's 14-point peace plan, explain what Wilson achieved at the Paris Peace Conference, and summarize why the Versailles Treaty, not the Versailles, but the Versailles Treaty and League of Nations failed to win support in the United States. Let's get into it. Gonna learn about World War One and how it ended and how it impacted America. I've always thought with my um, YouTube videos, I should have like a cold opening and then like an intro like some of the YouTubers have, but I'm just not that high tech. Also, I don't got time. But let's describe Wilson's 14 point peace plan because I do have time for that and 14 is my favorite number. What is your favorite number? Is it 14 too? It's a great number. Okay, so Wilson had this 14 point peace plan when the war ended. And these 14 point peace plans essentially wanted to prevent another world war from happening. Um, prevent international problems. So stop your secret treaties, stop making secret agreements to protect your friendships behind the scenes. Um, stop bombing merchant ships, Germany, you two, you, you two, you boat, you know, be nice to one another. Everyone should be able to travel in the oceans and the sea in times of peace. Um, free trade, strengthen trade between countries. Limit the amount of weapons. So nations should only keep enough weapons to defend themselves, not to attack people. And then he went into a whole bunch of finer details about it. I have a summary of what these 14 points are. Um, and if you notice like six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 all have to do with specific colonies. I mean, leaving them alone or establishing independence. And we call part of that self-determination. That is the right of national groups to have their own territory, to have their own territory and their own form of government. So we see that independence of Romania, Serbia, and Montenegro, um, getting territories back to France, Belgium got wrecked in World War I, so having people leave Belgium alone so Belgium can build itself up and giving land back to Russia, establishing Poland as well. Um, and then his 14th point, which he really gets attached to, is this idea of a League of Nations. I want to clarify, this is not the United Nations. The United Nations has not been invented yet, and it has not been established. So, yeah not the United Nations, but a League of Nations to help protect independent countries everywhere. And he really, 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 really wants this. He wants peace without victory, and he doesn't want to punish those that had to surrender and didn't win, like Germany. He doesn't want to punish Germany. He wants peace without victory, which is like, sounds like something super noble but it's also something for us to not so hard to want because out of all the losses in world war one we suffered the least amount of losses um no war was fought on our land so world war one wasn't fought in america or our territories we entered the war late so we didn't have as many people die um, we don't have to rebuild anything it's not as personal for us as it is for britain and france who want Germany to bleed. So they are out for it. And so when Wilson's like, let's not like, let's just try and prevent this from happening again. And let's just be friends. The other two friends are like, no, no, Germany's going to suffer. I'm going to suffer for what they did to us. Um, and he kept on trying to work on these 14 points. So this Paris peace conference wasn't just a lovely weekend in Paris. It lasted for months because they were trying to figure out what they were going to um, have to have Germany do, how they were going to end the war officially with the treaty. Um, and Germany wasn't even allowed to be a part of this. And so it was a uh, big tour. So it was a lovely weekend in Paris and they made these big trips through America Orlando of Italy and so Germany's not even part there and he keeps on trying to press his 14 points through 
especially with the League of Nations. He's like, as long as I can get my League of Nations through, we're set. I spelled through wrong. I'm so sorry. But like, he wants his League of Nations. And finally, they're like, okay, we'll put a League of Nations in the Treaty of Versailles. And so a League of Nations is going to happen. So Wilson is super pumped about that. Germany is not super pumped. Germany is humiliated. They have to do so much based off of the Treaty of Versailles. They have to take full responsibility for the war, even though they were not the first country to declare war. They have to take full responsibility for it. They have to pay $300 billion in reparations, so money back to other allied forces to help them rebuild their country. They have to limit Germany's military. They have to return that piece of land to France that they took in the Franco-German War. And they lost all of their overseas colonies to either Britain or France. In addition, not really relating to Germany, but France and Britain get other colonies as well, as the Ottoman Empire like ceases to exist. And, and so the Ottoman Empire gets taken down and British will control Turkish provinces of Iraq and Palestine and the French control Syria and Lebanon. So Great Britain and France for being the winners, they actually get a lot out of this deal. Germany gets the severe short end of the stick. And unfortunately, sh Germany remembers. And you know, it's we caused the depression in Germany. Germany had bills to pay other countries that they couldn't afford to pay. People were starving in Germany trying to deal with all of this. And Germany went through a massive slump in between World War I and World War II. And it's probably some of this that eventually caused people to support Adolf Hitler and his goal to liber liberate Germany from, yeah. And so we probably shouldn't have been as harsh on Germany. Uh, the last point is summarize why the Versailles Treaty and League of Nations failed to win support in the United States. Well, first off, German Americans thought it was pretty harsh, which it was. And President Wilson would have also said that it was harsh. Um, but he got his League of Nations in at least. He worked really hard for that to get the League of Nations in. The Republicans wanted to make President Wilson, who was a Democrat, look bad. so they didn't support it and spread like, you shouldn't support it. It's bad because of all X, Y, Z reasons, X, Y, Z. And then finally, a Republican, Henry Cabot Lodge, raised a lot of people against the Treaty of Versailles and um, the League of Nations because America is famous for being isolationist. And he was like, if we're part of this league, we just immediately have to go protect any other country's independence is threatened. Like, I don't want to get us into another war. We already got into this war and I don't want us in this war anymore. So, yeah. Um, didn't think the league would protect America. So, eventually, um, 10, yeah. So the Senate rejects the, the Treaty of Versailles. And here's the irony of the whole thing. I asked you this question because I wanted to know, and some of you figured it out. President Wilson had worked so hard for this League of Nations because of what it could achieve. He had, and he went on a campaign and he ended up getting stroke for it, but he was all about the League of Nations. And the United States never even joined the League of Nations. Like, he worked so hard for this thing, and America never even joined it. Um, and the League of Nations doesn't last long. It falls apart. But, yes. War is over, and all is calm and peaceful. Um, your test, oh, the extra credit word for this test will be Yahtzee. <laughs> like, Y A C H. T-Z-E-E, -E, Yahtzee for extra credit. Some of you got extra credit on the science tests for remembering the, the key word, but Yahtzee, like the game, is the extra credit word for this time. Um, around 25 to 30 questions, same as the science. Hopefully I won't have that problem with the number question again, because that was annoying for everybody. All right, have fun taking your test.